Okay, we're back now. As you see, here's the Kui 64. Let's see if I can get you to show you the writing on it here. Model 64, semi automatic. Here is the old style magazine receiver. And this is the new unit we're going to be putting in. As you can see, it is not a direct bolted. So in this video, we will be disassembling, installing the new magazine receiver, and doing an overall cleanup and tune-up. These were notorious for having stove piping. That's where the magazine, or the spent shell I mean, gets stuck in here and does not eject properly as well as misfires due to just being gummed up. Okay, let's start with the disassembly. The front screw holds the main body together. So when this one is removed, then the whole top body should come off as it does. So here is the main assembly. Nothing too elaborate as you can see, quite simple. So the pieces we will be changing are this one, which is the old style magazine receiver, and this front support plate will be changed as well. So the tool I'll be using for taking out these Phillips screws is just a little tip in the end of a combination wrench because as you can see it's very hard to get in here to loosen these off so by using this tool I can get in quite straight on the screws and they come loose And then with your Phillips, wind them out. And that is now off. Same applies for this large piece here. I have a, another Phillips which fits in the groove quite nicely using the similar idea for the other ones insert your bit and loosen then you should be able to wind it out the rest of the way What is this piece for, you say? That's what retains the barrel into the receiver. And there we have the two halves. Do inspect for rust, corrosion, wear. You can see there's a little bit of crud in this one. This 
rifle has been sitting for quite a while. Otherwise it doesn't look that bad. Same applies for the receiver. Give it a quick once over. Look for any obvious signs of corrosion that you may have to deal with down the road. To disassemble the breech, it's quite simple. Once the barrel's been removed, simply release your safety slide it forward so that this assembly is in the clear this now removes and the rest of the mechanism will slide out now this one's rather gummed up so it's a little sticky so I'll motivate it along here a little bit as you can now see the bolt and ensuing mechanism all come out and there's a whole breach and as you can see this one's rather gummed up. I would not recommend disassembling any farther as it's not really needed. But uh, a little cleanup and then we'll get back to the reassembly.